Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the first Open Orca model preview that is introducing a new model that is called Open Orca. Now, this is based off of the Llama 13 billion parameter architecture. Now, for the people who do not know, we covered Open Orca LLM previously, and this is an open source model that has been surprising a lot of people. It has been developed by the Microsoft research team, and it's shows new techniques for training open source models that are competitive with chat gpt's 3.5 model now this new technique allows small models that are like 13 billion parameter to do more than imaginate or to basically imitate larger foundational models it allows them to learn the reasoning behind how to actually arrive at solutions and now today we have this first open orca model preview which you can download locally on your desktop and and it's basically introducing this open orca model that is fully open source now to train this model the creators use their own data set called open orca data set which has been designed to replicate the data set used in microsoft's research paper of orca and this is something that we'll showcase in today's video we're going to talk a little bit more as to how you can install this locally on your desktop secondly we'll talk about the evaluation as well as the data set so this is something that is quite groundbreaking guys because this is something that is replicating how like you can imitate as well as develop smaller models to be just as like gpt4 or gpt 3.5 models so this is quite astonishing and this is something that we'll showcase in today's video so with that thought guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go go to the world of ai twitter page if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell follow this page if you guys haven't i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so stay tuned over here and if you guys haven't already definitely subscribe to the world of ai it mean the whole world to me guys i'm going to be posting the latest ai news in terms of videos and i'm going to try my best to post every single day so definitely stay tuned turn on the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought let's get right into the video so a while back a month ago i've explained what orca llm is it's basically a progressive learning from complex explanation traces of gpt4 research paper and it's a framework or a type of like explanation that it was developed by microsoft research that focuses on enhancing and improving the capabilities of larger models specifically gpt 3.4 or g3.5 sorry and gpt4 and basically the main objectives of orca is to enable larger models like gpt4 to learn and reason from complex explanations and this involves training the model on large data sets that contain detailed as well as more of a broader knowledge base of explanations on various topics and these explanations are carefully crafted to capture the information so that it's able to process the reasoning and this is something that i covered in my previous video and i go really in depth into the research paper so i highly recommend that you check this out and i'll leave this link in the description below as well as in the comments so that you can check it out but in terms of today's video we're going to talk a little bit more about this open orca model preview now for the preview release the creators train the actual model using less than only six percent of its complete data set and this has been basically done to provide a small little glimpse of what the model is actually capable of doing while continuing to actually improve and refine their data set now specifically they train the model on a carefully selected subset of a 200k entry from the, its larger open uh, orca data set and you can actually access this data set by using the fine tune llama 13 billion parameter model and you can actually download this and implement it on your own local desktop now during this actual training phase what the creators actually did was that they filtered out certain statements and responses that were actually shown negatively that would affect the model's reasoning capabilities for example what they've done is that they removed the phrases like as an ai model to improve the model's performance and you can get more information on uh, like the specific practices that were actually used to curate the data set and it's basically going to be shared in the future when the full model is actually released so we get some transparency as to what they're doing to to refine this model so that you can actually improve your own model later on in the future if you do tend to develop it 
Now, the creators also emphasize that even with training on a small proportion of its data, Open Orca model was actually able to achieve state-of-the-art results in its class. And additionally to this, they also mentioned that there was a total training cost for this, which was only like around 200, I believe. It was less than 200, which is absolutely insane. One thing that I want to state is that if you want to visualize the full pre-filtering data set, you can actually check it out by Nomic, which is their Atlas map. And this is just the company that actually created GPT for all. And you can see this filtering for its data set. You can get a better idea of where they filtered certain things for its data set. And you can get a better idea of the curated, curated data set. The evaluation of Open Orca Preview 113 billion parameter model architecture was actually conducted using a hard reasoning task from two benchmark datasets. Firstly, it was the Big Bench Hard dataset, and secondly, it was the AGI Evol dataset. And these are the two datasets that were described in the Orca paper. Now, the average performance of the model on the Big Bench Hard dataset was measured to be 0.3753. Now, this metric provided an indication on how well the model performed on hard, challenging reasoning tasks included in the Big Bench Hard dataset. Now, similarly to this, the model's average performance on the AGI Evol dataset was determined to be 0.3638. And this metric basically reflected the model's ability to handle complex reasoning tasks that are evaluated on the AGI Evol dataset. Now, to provide a more meaningful comparison, the valuation results were also measured with the relative performance of Vicuna's model as described in the Orca paper. Now, I covered all of this in my YouTube video, so I highly recommend that you check this out so you can get a better comparison or an idea of the comparison with these different LMs as well as these metrics. And it was basically found that the Open Orca preview model was able to achieve an average score that is approximately 60% of the total improvements that were demonstrated in the Orca paper. And it basically indicates that the Open Orca model, despite being trained on only 6% of the data, still achieved a significant portion of its improvement that is observed in the Open Orca summary paper. And this is something that you can check out in this actual repo on Hugging Face. So I highly recommend that you check this out so you can get better information on this. Now, they were actually able to train this within eight, eight of these 880 GPUs for 15 hours and it was under $200. And this is quite cheap to train such a big model in such a small period of time. So imagine what this will be able to do in the future. Now, I'm going to showcase a little bit more about how you can actually install it. Now, this model is now finally able to, you can finally play around with it and it's fairly easy to install. First things first, you're going to need the text generation Ooga Booga model and it's just a web UI for running larger language models. So this is fairly easy to actually install. You have a one click installer. If you have a Windows processor, you can easily just click this, unzip the file. Once you unzip it, there's an instructions tab that showcases what you need to do. Just open up the file that is required to install it. Then you'll need to specify if you have an NVIDIA processor or a GPU, or if you want to install it locally on your CPU. Uh, what I personally did is I just ran it with my CPU. And then once you're able to run it and install all the files, it's around 10 GB, I believe. And once that is finished, it will locally open on your local host and then you'll be able to play around with it. And what you will next need to do is you will need to copy the actual preview model. It's fairly easy. You can just click copy this link over here. And then once you're in the model, you go into the models tab and it's going to be on the top left corner and you'll be able to paste it of what you want to download. And you'll paste the link of open Orca preview model into that models tab. And it will then download the model that you require for this running process and once that is installed you'll be able to start playing around and chatting with the open orca model now guys i just want to showcase this research paper and it is titled towards ai complete question answering and it was by facebook research team and it's basically a set of prerequisite toy tasks and it focuses on the development of a series of prerequisite toy tasks that can serve as a building block towards actually achieving an ai complete question answering it's used to help 
uh, refine a level of artificial intelligence where it's basically using the system as well as the prompts that are provided here to help evaluate as well as showcase how the AI performs. And if you scroll down, there's actually a list of prompts that you can play around with. And I actually played around with many of them. The thing is, uh, my computer doesn't have enough storage at the current moment. So I wasn't actually able to install the text generation. However, I did play around with it previously and I had to delete it instantly because I had to do some other work. But basically, I inputted all these different prompts and I was able to get the right answer uh, as to what I actually asked it. Basically, I asked it this one prompt. Uh, Mary went down the bathroom. John moved to the, to the hallway. Mary traveled to the office. Where is Mary? And basically, these, this is just a metric or a, a type of way to help perform and assess the AI model. And I was actually able to get the right answer for all of these statements. In summary, basically using these prompts, you're able to assess the models as it serves several different purposes and it helps evaluate how it actually functions. And based off of the Open Oracle model, it only utilizes 6% of its data and it's able to showcase such outstanding results by answering, by having a fully functioning question answering system that is installed within this preview as well as doing a lot more in terms of refining its data set and showcasing this with its preview. In conclusion guys, this first Open Oracle model preview showcases a lot of capabilities of its Open Oracle model which was only built and trained on less than 6% of its data which is quite astonishing and it just showcases what its future stage will be as it releases more improved data set curations and further advancements of its actual model's performance. Imagine what it will actually be able to do in the future as it releases bigger models as well as bigger data sets. So definitely keep an eye out on this and if you guys want to download it, definitely do so using Oogabooga as it's fairly easy to do so so that you can actually get a better idea of this Open Orca model preview. So with that thought guys, definitely give the Twitter page a follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out fellas.